how can I multiply time by a value in Excel? So let's say two hours times $100 per hour, we're going to have $200, right? But let's do this calculation in Excel. Equal sign $100 times two hours. I'm going to hit enter and the result is wrong. $8.33. Working with hours in Excel, it can be always problematic and trick. So let's find it out why is that and also see some practical examples on how can we multiply time by a value and also how can we add up all these values with a sum function and get the correct result, not a wrong one. So let's go. Working with hours in Excel is always trick and problematic because the hours we see here is not actually a number. Let's let me explain in other words. So let's say two hours is not equal to the number two. Okay. If I take the same value uh, as hours, so let's say two colon o o and then enter. Okay, I have the same value. But I want to click in the cell and then I want to convert this number into a serial number. Home tab and then custom, I want to click here and select, let's say, number itself. As we can see, this number is completely different than this number that we are seeing here. It doesn't mean that both of those numbers are different. It just means that the format is different. The one down below here is a serial number. The one above is a hour. So they are with different format. This is the answer. So when I multiply a value by two hours in Excel, I actually multiply a value to, let's say, 0 0.08. This is why I got here a different result than we are expecting. So how can I solve this problem? If you have, as we did before, this number that is actually two hours, if I double click in this number, one, two, and then let's input an equal sign in this number, or underneath, in the cell underneath it, equal sign, the cell above where I have the two hours, okay? and then times 24. That way, I will be able to convert the number that I have into the actual number that we are seeing. Two hours into the number two. One hour and a half into 1.5 and on and on. So let me hit enter here. And yeah, that's it. We can apply the same logic to calculate the total. Equal sign two hours times 24 times $100 per hour. I want to press enter. And yeah, we got the correct result. So this is how we can solve this problem. However, let's do another example where I have information such as the date, overtime, dollars per hour, and also the total. Let's say the overtime is the hours that someone worked beyond the scheduled hours. If someone worked two hours more than the, the scheduled hours, this one is going to receive $50. Again, equal sign. And as we learned it before, overtime or the value in hours times 24 times the dollars per hour. I'm going to press enter. And yeah, it's correct. If someone worked two hours in overtime, they're going to receive $50 per hour. So $100. Yeah, it's policy. Now let me click in the bottom right corner of the cell, hold and drag down. And that's it. Now, how can I add up values? Because as we can see, if in the cell underneath, I input the equal sign and then use the sum function to help me make an addition of the values once you to select. And then I want to add up all those values above. I want to hit enter. And the value that I have as a result is completely different than the correct one. But how do I know that? Because if I add up only those two last values, 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 hours. 12 is much larger than the value that we got. So I know it's completely wrong. But why is that? Because when we are adding up values or actually hours in Excel, Basically, if we start in zero and then they start to add up the values until the 24 hours. And then when it hits 24, it becomes zero again. And that's why we can not get something that is larger than 24. But to solve this problem, I can go to this cell where I did the sum function and change the format of this cell. So I can go to the home tab and in the format, I can click in this style arrow and go to more numbers format. Here I can stick with the option time and then this option right here, 37 colon 30 colon 55. Okay, 37, 30, 55. This is the option that allow me to add up values that the result is larger than 24. If I hit OK, look what's going to happen here. Now I have the correct result, 29 hours and 5 minutes. So this is how we can solve two common problems in Excel 
when we are using hours. How to multiply time by a value and also how to make an addition of hours in Excel properly. I hope this video can help you out. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.